Greetings friends, GV here. We are playing in Night London based in the game studios as Dusk Falls. This game was released last year, uh, 2022, and it's story driven game where we're following two families in Tangled Life where uh, robbery has gone completely wrong. Uh, this is book one called Collision, and the main purpose of this gameplay is that choice really matters. It's a visual novel slash story driven branch uh, branching game uh, where each of our choices have some sort of consequences. So in this gameplay, um, I'm going to show you the choices you have to make in order to avoid all the debts which you can and uh, making the best uh, this the best gameplay uh, for book one collision. Enjoy. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories travel. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Daddy, are we gonna play? <laughs> Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... Um, that big truck way up there. Depends what part of the truck. Okay, Smarty. How about the exhaust pipe? <laughs> um, that's where all the smoke comes out. And it's gray. <laughs> hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Let me just have one last look around. Ready? Okay, shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Hmm. This is a toughie. Is it six? Ah, uh, how'd you know? I used my superpowers. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you're getting hard to beat. <laughs> oh, did I doze off? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. Hey. Hey. You... You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh... You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> How far'd you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. You're listening to Drive Time on KMW, Flagstaff's first and finest. 
It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. <laughs> so, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, row, row your boat? <laughs> she fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. You are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. <sighs> Let's just pretend this is a vacation. Family trip, Route 66, we collect a few pressed pennies, <laughs> and then back to Sacramento. Vince, we can't. That's not our life anymore. Look, I'm just trying to stay positive. <sighs> You've got your tenure, I've got... my new job. <laughs> Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. Give me a little space on this one, okay? Of course. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked them. And what was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Well, Zoe appreciates me, even if no one else does. Oh, look at her little face. She wouldn't dream of making an old man feel he wasn't... <laughs> Zoe! Are you okay, Pumpkin? What happened? I think she just bit her lip. Hey, thanks for coming back. If you give me Learn how to drive, asshole! Are you kidding me? Country kids. Or a desert version. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. That's the one. 28 Northwood. <laughs> Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. 
Jay, you ready? Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brung him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal. You haven't told me whose house this is. It doesn't matter who. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. <laughs> and you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa! Does Ma know you took that? Nope. But someone's got to watch your backs. <sighs> we got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale! The code. Jay can read! Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. Alright. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. It's the big, bad wolf. Not funny. What happened? He's got a Doberman. I had to lock it in the shed. What's that? <laughs> Idiot. Whose house is this? Dante Romero. King of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... But what? The way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little, while we're at it. Tyler said we only have an hour. Maybe we should start looking for the safe. Ah, whatever. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is two rock, not NYPD blue. Now get looking for that safe. Good place to hide a safe. Or not. No safe here. You find anything? No. Maybe it's upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up! I'm working on it. Hey! When life gives you lemons... <laughs> Come here. Help me get a little payback. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, uh, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. 
All right, enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. Okay. his wife. Shit. Twelve years repairing jumbo jets, you'd think I'd be able to fix a car. You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I could stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Hello? Hey. Sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanic's away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then. Just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is... Oh, hey. Welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norma to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah, people just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Ugh, <laughs> oh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then... Can I watch the Nature Channel, please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. <laughs> All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Uh. You okay? Ah, uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind rubbing it for a minute? Uh. Nice room. Looks just like mine. 
Well, I'm going to take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> Uh, you go ahead. I'm gonna stay. Can I come? You're the one I was really hoping for. <laughs> Thank you for staying. I know I'm... irritable when it comes to your dad. We mean in the car earlier? Don't worry about it. It's just... You know what he wants, right? He's gonna ask you if he can move in with us. Oh, God, you think? I'd bet money on it. I mean, well, maybe we should consider it. His cancer's only going one way. I feel for him. I just... I don't know if I trust him. He disappeared from your life for almost 30 years. I don't want him doing that to Zoe. I know. But back then, he bounced between rehab centers like a pinball. He, he's different now. Come on, give me your shoulders. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> but go lower. Oh, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that's great, Vince. Thank you. You know, when I picked Zoe up yesterday, her teacher kept telling me what a smart kid she is. That she's ahead on reading and numbers. Was there ever any doubt? She also said that, with Zoe changing schools, it might be worth thinking about her skipping first grade and going straight into second. Wait, what? That's what I said. But then I thought about it, and maybe this could be really good for her. She'd be challenged, learn new things. Michelle, no. She'll be the runt of the class. They'll take her lunches and stuff them up a tree. Or... She'll have a bunch of great friends who just happen to be a few months older than her. Oh, I don't know. She's already moving to a new state. Things at home have been... You know, she heard us fighting the other night. Does she really need more stress? Of course not. But maybe we just take a leap on this one? Okay. If you think it's a good idea. Really? I want what's best for her. She'll just have to make taller friends. <laughs> well, great. I'll get the ball rolling on Monday. And hey, look. About the other night. Daddy, the car is back. Grandpa told me to come get you. He did? Well, great. <laughs> I'm gonna grab some snacks from the vending machine. You want anything? Uh, no. We're good. So Bill turns to Hillary and says, But I thought the Gaza Strip was a top in his bar. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where the party is. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. <sighs> what do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests? Get it round back, quick! What in the world? On the ground, now! Uh, I said get on the ground! Good boy. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. Nobody's gonna hurt you, okay? Right. Sorry. 
Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. Uh. Well, I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't pry. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Uh, that a boy. It has to be in here. <sighs> Bird watching. That's cool. Dale! I found it! What the? Where's the code? Yes! Whoa. Dale, check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here, let's load it up. Man, if I had as much money as this greedy asshole, I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now what would you do if you could keep all this cash? It's not for us. It's for paying off Pa's debts and everything. Well, I didn't say we weren't. I was just asking if. Well, even if. I don't think we should. Whatever. Goody two-shoes. Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Call to check a clog. <sighs> Shit. Go. Go. Not coming up, just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way. Back early. Yeah, no shit. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <laughs> nice work, guys. How about we stop for burgers on the way home, huh? Have a little celebration. We're gonna be celebrating every day for a week. <sighs> Son of a bitch. 
bitch. Dispatch, this is C1. I need all available cars in the area west Two Rock. Searching for a blue pickup truck. Copy on your request. Is everything okay? No, it's not fucking okay. I need units now. Someone robbed my house. They didn't see us turn in. How'd they even find us? We got away clean. He must have seen the truck. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> We understand. Yeah, whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. You, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Tux. That's just Jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. What can we do? They have guns. So we take their guns away and get our faces blown off. Jesus, Jim, this isn't die hard. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just- I said drop it. Let's all just take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. Uh, no, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said take off the masks. Oh, no. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I I'm sorry, I can't. Christ, really, Paul? You, grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. Paul was right. No more guns. Should have held on to it. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. And everybody's got a little hole in the middle. Everybody does a little dance with the devil. They didn't see us turn in. How'd they even find us? We got away clean. He must have seen the truck. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. 
Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> We understand. Whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. You, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Zeus. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. Just do what he said. Keep quiet. And what if they change their minds? These boys are obviously making it up as they go. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then, we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just- I said drop it. Please, just leave before someone gets hurt. No one asked you. It's my motel. I'll deal with them. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said take off the masks. Oh, no. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I I'm sorry, I can't. Christ, really? Paul, you, grab the gun. Now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. <laughs> You've never held a gun a day in your life. I learned quick, though. Touch my things again, you won't be happy. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's... it's in a shed out back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. I think I don't know that. All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. <sighs> you boys. You haven't hurt anyone, have you? Yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the metal brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? Or how about this? Shut it up. Now, he's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Zeus, remember me? I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Jim, give him here. 
That's it. Good boy. Nice and calm. Shit. Easy, Zeus. Easy. There. Are you happy? Now put the gun down. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'm tired of you. Tape her mouth shut. I'm sorry. What the hell is going on out here? Uh, she was annoying me. All right, it's settled. We stay put about an hour and leave once it's dark. Fuck, a whole hour? Hold on. Why do they have so much luggage? Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. My family. My father, my wife, my little girl. Go check the rooms. Uh. You know something? I don't like you. First sign of trouble and you sell out your own family? You're scared shitless right now. Tell me I'm wrong. Of course I'm scared shitless. <laughs> it's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two, keep your mouths shut and this'll all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Uh, sir, say uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. <laughs> Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're just here for the night. On our way to Missouri, actually. Oh, yeah? Why Missouri? If you don't mind me prying. My wife grew up there. You know what? It doesn't matter. No problem. Just had to ask. Big Sam, where you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. If you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Like I said, call us if you see or hear anything. You too, right, pal? Absolutely, officer. I'll call you personally. Well, all righty then. All right, y'all take care now. Huh. 
Vince. Daddy, what's happening? Oh, God. <sighs> Dale, Jay, we're leaving early. And we're taking her. What? Wait, no. Hang on now. If we get away without being followed, I'll drop her at a payphone. But if you call the cops... Please, I'm begging you. Leave my wife out of this. If you need someone, take me. It's not up for discussion. If you want to help her, keep the cops away. ain't afraid to hold a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that. All right, value family man, sincere, and then we are a quick thinker. That's good. We didn't take so much time to make our decisions. Let's look at how our path went as wins. And uh, Jay... Okay, we made some good decisions here, and uh, we avoided that, it seems, yeah. Avoided any debt in this scene. Oblivious, we helped them out and said we got the rare, as you can see, a rare ending here at uh, hold 27% uh, of player have that one. That's good. All right, let's start the next chapter. I told you I wasn't going to hurt anyone. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I was scared. I wasn't thinking. I know. I just... I don't want to lose you. Believe me, I don't want to lose anyone. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Guys. We're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. 
He'll get us out of here. <sighs> you got more faith in him than I do. This is Sheriff Romero of the Two Rock County Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a Class 3 felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. <laughs> you people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. I'm gonna call you to negotiate your surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Were you the one who called 911? <laughs> I dialed and left it off the hook. <laughs> We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. The back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler. I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves- Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. <gasps> Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. You're not gonna put anyone in that office. Believe me, I will. No offense, but I think you're just hot wind. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again... Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Uh, it's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe? Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? That's it. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling! Can you reach the scissors? Quick! I'll block the door! I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the Sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Now, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um, the Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. 
Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. The one calling the shots, I think his name's, um... Tyler? Tyler. That's right. He's coiled up pretty tight. I worry what's gonna happen if something sets him off. Huh. Yeah, I would have called him the one with the cool head. If Tyler's losing it, you need to be careful. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen. It's good to identify a weak link for us and, and for you. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. So keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? I told them what's happening here. That the Holtz were behind it. And you're the one in charge. Fuck! These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him, and he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a no, dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. So, let's see. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want... Is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. You could stick your gag order and your pen right up your ass! Oh, so you do got a little fight left in you, huh? Shit. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. I'm probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like... Dreaming... About our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start?
All right, dish is done. Okay, if this is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool, ethereal, thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. Yeah, we're good, we're good. What's next? A bit of a cool start to the day, gradually getting warmer, with a high of around 93 degrees. Mostly dry with a humidity of around 69. Well, the weather's the same as here, at least. Come on, Tony. If Jordan can do it, you can do it. Oh, what the hell, ref? My kid can make a better call than that. All right, on the home stretch now. I guess some dreams never get off the ground. Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Millie gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. Hey, Buster, of course I did. Vince's moving company at your service. Why, yes, we do accept tips. That might be taking it too far. Oh, I don't know. I'll be living on handouts if I mess up this new job. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationery cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. Come on, let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently about something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but... The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? When we're scared of something, like the dark, our imagination can make it seem a lot worse. But when the sun comes up, you realize there was nothing to be afraid of. Until it gets dark again. Try and get some sleep, okay? Mm. Love you, all the way to the moon. I want mommy. Ugh, 
This moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? It's settled already? Mommy! <sighs> Coming, love bug. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Why did the lights go out? It's a power outage. You get them all the time here. No outage. It's the damn sheriff. Dale, keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. Jay, take her upstairs and okay, get her that's the desk. Hairpin. Could be useful. And make sure the windows are locked. Jay, now. Come on. I'll take hey. You hey! You. Looks like this gotta have a generator. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. So I suppose I could try that. I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. Dark out there. I can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. So. Good. Do you think they're gonna try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. You guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the holts? I think they went out the back. 
We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Are you hurt? No. Are you? Okay, go! Everybody down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Where are the perps? Dangerous. I'm not dying in this goddamn motor lot. What the hell are you doing? Grandpa! <gasps> Sanchez is hit! I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! <sighs> oh. Jim. Jim, can you hear me? Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. Vince? Is Grandpa uh. hurt? I don't know, honey. Jim, are you okay? Dad, he needs an ambulance. Get him an ambulance. He looks all right. Maybe just a concussion. It's not just that. He's got a brain tumor. If he got hit in the wrong spot or something. Shit. You still with us, Grandpa? Oh, God. This is, this is all my fault. If I hadn't been so hell-bent on making amends. Hey, are you with us? Jim, uh, how do you feel? My head's throbbing. Is Eddie okay? Who? I'll I'll be all right. I I just need a, a minute to to get my easy now. He needs to see a doctor. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. What? No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Look, you boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. First, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's, veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. 
Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? Trying to get Zoe to go to sleep? Yep, top of the list. <laughs> Anyway, tonight is our last night, and it seems so long since we, you know. Mm. So, how about we make it one to remember? Thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Why did you... Vince, have you been looking at my phone? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and Mommy? Why would you ask that? Hannah's parents used to argue. And now they don't get to live together anymore. Don't worry, honey. We're not doing that. So, uh... This Bruce dude... Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. You never said anything about him before? I have. Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual? Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. 
This last year wasn't a great one for us, but nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? Michelle, every bone in my body tells me you're sleeping with this guy. Now you're being ridiculous. All right, then give me your cell phone. What? I want to have a look at your messages. Have you got something to hide? No, of course not. So what's the problem? What's the matter? It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I was right. I don't know what to tell you. It just happened. How long has this been going on? At the end of January. The semester party. That explains all the working late. Stumbling around when you get back, showering before bed. It was stupid. After the accident, you were so... Neither of us were in a good place. And he was... I don't know. He was there. Tell me the truth. Do you love him? Of course not. I love you. But every time I try to get close, you push me away. Look, it was just sex. That's honestly all it was. What about Zoe? Did you even think what this could do to her? I didn't want to hurt anyone. <sighs> Michelle. I felt so rejected. You haven't touched me in months. You haven't looked at me. When was the last time we even watched a movie together? When you lost your job. This wall went up. You pretend everything's fine. That you don't need to talk, but the wall just gets higher and higher, brick by brick. And I missed you, okay? I wasn't trying to build a wall. I just... I didn't realize it was affecting you. I'm sorry. Look. We've been together for 12 years. We've made it through a lot. I just want to know that we can make it through this too. Lately you've been so... absent. I hate seeing you like this, Vince. So, this is all because of me? Of course not. No. I just wish we could talk about what you're going through. Ever since the accident, I felt... I don't know... Like something inside me died. <laughs> not just because someone was killed, it's... Something else. Oh, Vince. It's because you love what you do. And now you can't do it anymore. Whatever you're feeling, we can work through it together. But we can't let this thing follow us to St. Louis. It will taint every bit of happiness we have. If I do this... 
I forgive you? You swear it won't happen again? I promise. Never. Vince, I'm worried about your dad. Head injuries, bad enough on their own. But if he's got something up there pushing against his brain... How's he doing? In pain. But he wants Zoe to be the one sent out. And Vince, he's right. We've seen what these people are capable of. Please, just get her somewhere safe. Okay, I got your veggie pizzas. We want to get them while they're hot, so send me a hostage. Come on, old man. You going for a walk? Not me. Please. <laughs> T take Zoe. I'm... Uh, well, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. <sighs> Jim, you have a head injury. You're getting an MRI. That's the end of it. Please. I don't need a hospital. Take him out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. When I bump my head, Mommy puts ice on it. Maybe I'll try that. I love you, kiddo. Hey, look. You dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they can see in the dark. <sighs> okay! They're coming out! Stay right where you are! Wait, where's Zeus? Where you got hit in the head. Is it on the same side? It's what? That's the tumor. Oh, God. Uh, Vince, there is no tumor. How hard were you hit? You were diagnosed a year ago. It's in your parietal lobe. It's not real. I made it up. What? Look, a year or so ago, my closest friend, Tony, passed, and, and suddenly I was alone. My brother was long gone. I had no other family, just you. So I started to imagine being a father again. But you weren't going to let me back in your life after so many years, not without a good reason. No. No, 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 no. Tell me this is the concussion talking. And you were going to ask to move in with us? Vince, I don't know why I did it. I wish I hadn't. I guess I've just been lying to people for so long I can't tell the difference anymore. Why are you telling me this now? Because, if anything happens to you tonight... Hey, hurry it up! Everything good I've ever had, I've ruined. My marriage, my health. Son, I lied because I want a family. I want you, I want Zoe. If we survive tonight, please, give me another shot. One more chance. That's all you get. Thank you, Vince. It means everything to me. I should go before he recognizes me. What? 
Can I get a paramedic here? <laughs> I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. Yeah, that's me. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas! Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. <sighs> I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. <sighs> Did Grandpa see a doctor? He's seeing one now, honey. He'll be all right. Strange thing, though. I think he knows the sheriff. Really? How? He didn't say. But I met him and he was... Uh... What? Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Is that a good thing? I mean, for us? You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff? Ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? <sighs> Not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Hey, you want to share that with the rest of us? I don't think I do. <sighs> Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. We don't get to eat? Uh. No. I said no. The answer is no. <laughs> hey. How about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. They need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us?
you let one of us go. That counts for something. I really don't care what you think counts for what. They giving you problems? Nah. I got this. Oh. Shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. <laughs> Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Jay's into nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting a job soon. <sighs> it's not Especially here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, I don't want to fucking tell you about her. She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Hey, I was just trying to, you know... What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <sighs> oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us? It's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy. You and I are going for a stroll. Tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! Goddamn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. Damn, you're almost there. Just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right. You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Vince. Didn't think I'd see you again so soon. Well, that's reassuring. Hmm. You know, you were small time before today. That ugly assault a couple summers back, <laughs> so petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway... I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Your money. Not the money. My black book. Where is it? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me! One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. Hey, 
Cooper! Damn it! Take him out! Going back inside. Go! Go! Holy fucking shit! Jesus Christ! He's got a sniper on the fucking water tower! We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Vince! It's okay. I'm alright. All right, uh, value, honesty, and kind seeks comfort, uh, reach others, and we are here again, a quick thinker in this second chapter in this game called Economics 101. Vince made some difficult choices, as we can see, we managed to, yeah, played him, and we got no debts. Ladies and gentlemen, that is very good. And took some difficult choices here. But made them, all of them, safe. And one of that is only six. Yeah, that one has very less percentage, as you can see there. Very rare to get. So, I think we made good choices here. Okay, let's uh, get to the next chapter, then. What was he talking about, huh? What goddamn black book? He was just messing with your mind, Dale. So they could get the shot off. Jesus Christ. I swear I never come so close to shitting myself. Try to sleep. Okay, love bug? I'm not tired. I didn't know what a gunshot sounded like at her age. Now she'll never be able to stop hearing them. I know. I can't even... She's six, Vince. Six. Ten years working here under three different managers. <laughs> Worst thing ever happened before was a rattlesnake in the bathroom. Take a minute. Get your shit together. Hey! What are you doing over here? Cut 
the guy a break. He just saved my life out there. He helped us one time. Doesn't mean he'll do it twice. Look, I ain't saying we should give up. But what are we supposed to do now, huh? No helicopter? That pig Romero don't care if we're dead or alive. I don't know anymore. Don't you point that thing at me. Hmm? Ma'am, this is a live operation. Uh, <clears throat> Sheriff, uh, should I arrest her? Sharon? Sharon, you, you can't just... What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Ma. Dante, please. My boys are in there. And they wouldn't have robbed my house without you knowing about it. Still, if you want them out, you let me in. Dispatch, stand by. We have a situation developing. Excuse me, deputy. Uh, Sheriff? Sharon! Better not make me regret this. <sighs> Fuck me. Open up before he changes his mind already, will ya? Ma? Why are you here? I got this! <sighs> you clearly do not. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mama. Hi, sweethearts. Hmm. Paul? Sharon? Hmm. Hope you're here to talk some sense into your boys. You two friends or something? Long story. So how did this whole thing become such a damn clusterfuck? Romero's how. He tries to break in, we ask for a helicopter, he lures us outside, takes a shot at Dale. I swear to God, I could kill that lousy crook. <sighs> Got something to say? Nope. Come on now. How have my sons been treating you? We're fine. We'll get through it. Fine, huh? Not sure I buy that. What's your name? Vince. He's a family man. Been trouble from the beginning. Always arguing. He saved your brother's life! <sighs> family man, huh? I get that. You probably think my boys are monsters. But desperate days make for desperate men. They're scared. Just like you are. Just like I am. So tell you what, you help me take care of my family, I'll help you take care of yours. Deal? <sighs> okay. Look, the sheriff, he, um, he gave me something. A two-way pager. He uh, what? He wants that book he was talking about. He said if I don't get it... You're working with the cops? Whoa, whoa, wait! Tyler Douglas Holt! You let go of him this instant. I gave him my word. <sighs> so Dante tries to turn you, but you turn on him instead? Why? Look, I don't care whose house you robbed. All I care about is my family. Then you and I have something in common. <sighs> Tyler, we should talk in private. That idiot Dante thinks I'm helping him. Dale, Jay, don't you worry. I'll get you out of here. So You're helping them? Dante, just Seriously? I had to pick a side. The sheriff, he nearly had me shot earlier for no reason except I was in the way. At least the bad guys need us alive. It still seems like a bad idea. Well, I'm fresh out of good ones. Daddy? Hey, pumpkin. 
Try to sleep. Daddy, you look scared. Do I? That's not how I feel. How do you feel? I'm just feeling kind of tired. Been a long day. You can rest your head on my lap if you want. Maybe I'll do that. <sighs> Dante, it's Sharon. Oh, for crying out loud, just listen. Forget the helicopter. What we want is a school bus. Big enough for us and the hostages. Wait, we're taking them with us? We're safer that way. Well, I know I said that. Is it my fault you're gullible? Stop, 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 stop. Look, if this goes until morning, you'll have the state police here, maybe the FBI. And we both know that having them on your turf is the last thing you... <sighs> I can live with that. Call me when it's ready. Hey, what's that in your pocket? It's... Just a book about birds. Huh. Some kind of hiding place. Honey, where'd you get this? It belonged to the sheriff. I... I thought... There was something in it. Could you have dropped it somewhere? I... I don't know. I haven't looked at it since we got to the motel. It might be in the truck out back. But Romero's got a sniper up on the hill. He'll go. Me? We're in this together now, family man. And Jay, you go too. If he tries anything, do what you have to. Hunter returns. Caught some cottontails. Big deal. I promised Ma we'd fix this roof, or it won't last another storm. Here. Make yourself useful. We replaced most of them. Need you to cut me some new ones. Think you can handle that? I've done it before. Mm. Pine. Easy enough to saw. Easy enough to fuck up, so don't. I won't. Hey, bro, what kind of timber you got there? Uh... Ain't hardwood, so... You saying you got soft wood? Yeah, I think. Hear that, Tyler? He can't get it up. <laughs> what? Walk right into that one. <laughs> oh, look at his face. Should have seen that coming. We don't mean it. You know that. Uh. Hey. Wanna get high? Nah. Still got some shit to unload. I don't think so. Sure? <sighs> Don't let go. Don't let go.
Well, lucky, lucky. I hope I ain't disturbing your fun. Pa? What? No hug for your old man? Oh, fuck. Party's over. Hey, boys. I guess you finished the roof then, seeing as you giggling like a bunch of girls. See for yourself. It's coming along just fine. What? That's your work? Jay did him. Huh? Credit where it's due, right? Well, you ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but you're better than your brothers. Faster, too, I'd wager. Would have finished it sooner if you bothered helping us. I had business in town. <laughs> and how much you lose this time? <clears throat> Come on, Jay. You ain't too old for a whooping, Tyler. Hey, fuck off and leave him alone. Do yourself a favor, son, and step aside. When my pappy used to take off his wristwatch, it was because it was time for a beating I wouldn't forget. Hold this. What in God's name are you fighting over this time? Nothing. Just complimenting the boys on the fine work. I didn't hear you come back. Why? Were you gonna roll out the red carpet? <laughs> so you can tramp your dirty boots all over it? Mm. Cleaning up another of your messes is the last thing I need. Now, is someone please gonna tell me what this is about? Jay? Pa said the roof's taken too long, and then it got ugly. Yeah. When are you all gonna learn to grow up? <sighs> I ain't cooked enough for five, so if you want lunch, you're making it yourself. No thanks. I lost my appetite. Jay, you better take those rabbits inside. I'll skin them later. We'll be right along. I'll fix us some cold drinks. Who are you? <laughs> Hello, son. I represent some business acquaintances of your father's. Ah, <sighs> that is good. I can see this is a well-run home. Anything I can help you with, sir? Now that's what I like to hear. Help me, you most surely can. Hmm, now let me guess. You're too young to be Dale, and Tyler is much taller, or so I understand. Uh... Which means you must be Jay. I've been sent with a requisition. A what? Is your father home? He was here, but you're too late. Ah, shoot. Now that's a shame, because my employers are most insistent. They sent me to collect a down payment. Huh? Hmm. May I?
if you got up. Just don't drop the ashes on the floor. Hmm. I was certain I had some matches. Hmm. Listen, son. I'm not a violent man, but the people I work for... If your pa doesn't pay his gambling debt, with interest, owing money will be the least of his troubles. What exactly are we talking about? Let me put it this way. The men who come after me, instead of lighting cigars, they'll be loading their guns. Interesting. Swiss? The watch. A collector's piece, I think. Yours? No. It's... it ain't worth much. Maybe we can come to an arrangement. If you give me the watch, I'll talk to my employers and explain the circumstances. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Do we have an agreement? Um, uh, I... Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Perhaps you're the good apple of a bunch after all. <laughs> Jay! Forgot my damn watch. Huh? Hey! I told your people to stop bothering me. Now get off my property and go back to whatever piss stinking hole you crawled out of. You've dug your own grave, Holt. Your families, too! You'll be hearing from us! Bring it on! I see you or any of your shit healed friends back here. I'll burn you alive! You let that piece of shit intimidate you? In your own home? The fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Sorry? What does that mean? Jay, where's the watch? I gave it to him. Uh, I was trying to help. Oh, for Jesus Christ's sake, can't I trust you to do nothing right? Who was that? Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> More of your bear shit. Jay, what was that? This time, keep your goddamn mouth shut. Don't know. I didn't see. Right. And I'm Janet fucking Jackson. What have you gotten yourself into this time? I'll take care of it. How? By walking away? Bear, I'm talking to you. I said it's not your problem. But I'll be left picking up the pieces, like always! If all you've got to offer us is trouble, why do you even bother coming home? Even when we've got nothing, he takes it away. It's all right, Ma. It's all right. The shed's in the back? Yeah. Away from the road. Whew. No fear. Gonna be awesome. Isn't he turning off the lights? Halfway there. There. Huh? 
Gee, thanks, Sheriff. You okay? Couldn't be better. Hey, where were you sitting? Kind of all over. You check the cab. I'll check the bed. There you are. Is that what the sheriff wanted? Huh, it's just numbers. Department of Water and Power, $12,000. East Side Land Holdings, 8000 There's hundreds of these. What are they, bribes or something? Hey, you all right? It's nothing. Just that we're so caught up in all this shit. You, me, the sheriff, my family. If you knew what I've seen the last few weeks, it's all just so messed up. <sighs> it must be hard. I know I hated my life when I was your age. I was fat, my dad was never around. Mine was. You ever have something you thought about doing, but you knew it was too dumb to actually go do? Sure. I used to be an aircraft mechanic. Fixed up 747s and little Cessnas and everything. But when I was a kid, I didn't want to fix planes, I wanted to fly them. In fact, what I really wanted to be was a flight instructor. So why didn't you? Yes, life happened. Got older. Other things felt more important. But seeing how everything turned out, maybe I should have tried. I always wanted to be a forest ranger. I wanted to go to that one place with the geyser. What's it called? Yellowstone. Yeah, that's the one. See that thing spout in the air? That'd be cool. Tell you what, let's get out of here alive tonight. Maybe we'll both get to rethink our lives a little. We should be getting back. Hey, we got it. Well, look at you two. A regular Thelma and Louise. Holy Moses. What is all this? Sheriffs are elected, right? So all those names and cash amounts, could, could he be paying out bribes or something? Paying them, taking them, and probably a lot more besides. He's been dirty as a dog for years now. Just can't believe he wrote it all down. Put me through to the sheriff again. I know. I'm inside it. Dante, it's Sharon. Your little whack-a-mole in here betrayed you. I've got your little black book, and I'll gladly start faxing pages to Channel 10 unless you get me that bus in the next 30 minutes. How long till the FBI gets here? Under an hour. All right, Sharon. You win. Boss, you sure? We could wait him out. Bring the goddamn bus. You shouldn't have come. It's not safe. Those cops, they shoot first, ask questions later. I hope she keeps on sleeping. Won't be much longer. What if something happens to us, Vince? What's the plan once we get in the bus? We drive through the border and hope like hell we don't have to stop for gas. Never pictured us going on a road trip. They don't have any reason to harm us. We just gotta get through it. You're right. We'll make it. I've been thinking about the settlement from work. The gag order. And all the hush money. Yeah? If we get out of this alive, I know what I want to do. I'm not signing. I'm going to take those fuckers to court and sue them for ten times what they offered us. Really? Vince, that's amazing. You're not mad? 
I thought you wanted me to put it all behind us. Exactly. I wanted to put it behind us. I don't care. It's just so good to see you fight for something again. If I win, maybe I can finally take those flight lessons. Leaving the country? We can't go home again? Vince. Grow up. You even realize I've been thinking a lot too. We are? I'm sorry, Jake. And I know you, you forgave me back. for. for Bruce, but. Is that enough? Are we... Is our marriage gonna survive? Nothing like a terrifying hostage situation to clarify how you feel. I love you. I guess... It does put things in perspective. I love you, too. You know that? I do. Yeah, hi. Is Jessica there? It's Dale. Dale Halt? No. The one they caught shoplifting. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Look, I... I've seen you work in that liquor store sometimes, and well... There's that bar near there, you know, the one with the pool table and all? And I just was wondering if, um, you'd want to go there with me sometime. Well, all right. Uh, it's a date. Everybody, on your feet. Listen, everyone. The only way any of us gets out of here tonight is on that bus. Hostages at the windows, us in the aisle. You sure this is gonna work? I won't pretend I'm sure of anything. But I know what this family's capable of. Why is the chassis so low? Huh? Bus is open. I repeat, bus is open. Take them out! Jay! Get out! Jay! Jay! Jay, get up. What? Pa? Are you hurt? I need you to drive me to the hospital. Get dressed. Don't worry, Pa. I'll get you there. I appreciate you not telling your ma about the debt. I didn't like lying to her. I know. But you did the right thing. Even though it seemed like the wrong thing. <sighs> she used to think she could fix me, you know. All she wanted was a good man who'd love her back. Nobody wants to be alone. Not least your ma, anyway. So, when a woman like that says she wants you gone, well, you start thinking maybe she's right. Maybe the family don't need me no more. <laughs> she 
she's just angry, Pa. I've done plenty to earn it. She spat fired me since the day I... Well, it ain't been good in a long time. Turn off here. The hospital's the other way. We ain't going to the hospital. Huh? Make the turn. How did you... How did you hurt your shoulder, Pa? You're a good kid. I know they say you're not supposed to have favorites, but... Tyler's trouble is too like his ma. Dale's is that he's too much like me. You're different. I can talk to you, son. Trust you. If we stopped here. Help me get this tarp off the back. It's heavy. Pa, what's inside? You got it? A pull. Keep pulling. Come on. Is he dead? Jay, you have to listen to me. He had my pappy's watch. I tried to get it back, but stubborn son of a bitch, he refused. He attacked me, and I hit him uh, too hard. He fell and hit his head. I, I didn't mean to kill him. I just panicked. I guess he just got what was coming. Wasn't your fault. Exactly. You lay down with dogs, you get fleas. That's what my pappy always told me. He said if I gave him the watch, they'd give us more time to pay. With interest? Oh. These people are sharks. You let them smell blood, and they'll eat you whole. I should never have given it to him. Ain't just any old watch, son. Like I said, belong to my dear old pappy. One day, it'll be yours. See if he's still got it on him. I don't know if I can do that, Pa. You're the one that gave it away. Now, you can get it back. Search him. <laughs> uh, he's still warm. They'll be cold soon enough. Keep looking. You find the watch? It's not here. What about the jacket pockets? Uh, got it. Good. <clears throat> pa, what are we gonna do? He's dead. Only one thing to do. <clears throat> Dig. Uh, please, don't ask me to do that. Jay, listen to me. No one can find him. If we don't do this, the people he works for... Please, I ain't asking for me. Think of your ma. Think of your brothers. You're the only one I can trust. Pick up the shovel. Oh, man. I never told anyone this, but when I was half your age, 
We had this young horse, beautiful colt. Rode him most days. Then one summer, he threw me. Started bucking and biting, and I was lucky he didn't kill me. Next day, Pappy hands me his rifle. Says, when an animal goes bad, all a man can do is put it down. I can still smell the whiskey on his breath as he holds that horse steady. Counts to three. I squeeze the trigger. Oh, that's deep enough. All those years, I hated him. Now I know he was right. It had to be done, son. That's... You were... You were just a kid. You grab his arms, I'll take his feet. Let's get him into the hole. All right, let's get him covered before sunrise. Please, help. <laughs> help me. Please. Bury him. Do it, Jay. Do it, Jay. Bury him. I'm sorry. They'll come for you. <sighs> it had to be done. Look like you need it. To he who falls last. You take care of your grandpappy's watch, you hear? Been keeping time on a Holt's wrist since the Great Depression. So you treasure it. What I ask you to do tonight, son, what you did, wasn't just for me. It was for all of us. I, I know I'm hard on you sometimes. And maybe I'm just no good. But I've made a lot of sacrifices, Jay. Going off to war. Taking care of that stranger tonight. Family means sacrifice. Even for a fucked up old drunk like me. You ain't so bad as all that. You got your good sides too. but I won't give them the satisfaction. Now, get some sleep. I'm gonna go fix that roof you boys messed up.
Sharon, you're not right about much, but you were right about me. Claim the insurance. It'll clear the debt. Sorry for everything. Pa! Pa! Let me do this. Please. No, 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 don't die, don't die. <coughs> Shut up. Left me. You're still my pa. I don't want to lose you. Life ain't about what you want. There, if you'd only talk to me. Now he's got so many pipes and tubes sticking out of him. He ain't gonna be saying anything. For now. Should've let him swing. They gave us a week to settle the debt. After that, they'll come for the house, the trucks, and then us. It's vintage. Valuable, I think. <laughs> that old thing? It's a fake. Trust me. Pa couldn't even give it away. It's my fault. I should have told you about the debt. No, I won't hear that. Sweetheart, you didn't bring this on us. You want to hear my pitch? I say we rob the bank. Could work. Done right. Now, hold on. Nobody is robbing a bank. It's too risky. But maybe there's another way. What do we do? We gotta get to the truck! Michelle! Zoe! Daddy! Daddy! Come quick! Zoe? Where's mommy? She needs help! Oh god. Fuck, fuck, fuck! You're coming with me! Screw you, you piece of shit! Dale! No, 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 no! Come out with your hands over your heads! Fucking murderers! I'm gonna get you out, okay? Please hurry. Damn it. Hang on. Ma, it's over. We can't win. On three, okay? One, two. Oh dear God, please let this work. Oh, what are you doing? Improvising. Oh shit! Run, run, run! Go, go! Everyone okay? All good, keep going. We're not safe yet. Daddy. 
Get out! There's a window! Come on! Mother! Paul! Oh. Get out of there! The whole place is going up! We're gonna have to jump! It's too high! I'll get hurt! I'll go first and catch you, okay? <laughs> All right, time to jump! No fancy backflips. I know you want to. Have I ever told you how much I love your dumb jokes? <laughs> Remember, love bug. I'll be right here. Okay, Pumpkin. You ready? Please, don't make me. <laughs> the flames are coming up the stairs. We need to go now. Go on, Joyce. We're right behind you. <laughs> Look out! <gasps> I'll see you down there. We have to run for it. Should we hold our breaths? Good idea. I'll have to boost you up. I'll be right behind you, I promise. Will you fit? I'm not that big. Ready? Up you go! Get on my back! Now hold on tight! Quick! Away from the flames! 084, we have multiple officers down! Abandon the hilltop! We need urgent backup! We're headed down now. Over. <sighs> what a freaking mess. I want to go back home. To Sacramento. If we hadn't come, then none of this would have happened. Maybe not. But Mommy's gonna be fine. And Grandpa's just outside. We'll all be together again. Really soon. You promise? I do. Come on, kiddo. That was the lowest setting. You don't want to feel it on the highest. Sheriff, this is Coburn. Are you still in the back? Do you need support? Negative, Coburn. I got it covered. Zoe, run! Where's Sharon? Where's the book? I don't know. What are you doing? I gave you every chance to do the right thing. I trusted you. And you chose them over me. You've lost your mind. That stunt with the bus? You're supposed to protect people. And you were supposed to do what I asked. The Holtz. <laughs> then nothing, Vince. This town doesn't run without me. Even my most loyal deputies know better than ask how or why. That book could bring down a lot of people. 
myself included. So I gotta ask, did you look inside it? Yeah, I read it. Ah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> I just want to ask you a few questions, Vince. Like, uh, what exactly did you read? Incident report. Attempted to question witness in motel room. Witness became aggressive and combative. I was forced to electrocute the living shit out of him. Fuck you, Sheriff. Electrocute that asshole. Let's go. <laughs> Look what I found trying to crawl under the back gate. Get off! Well, hello there. Where's my daddy? Want to go for a ride, Donna? Let her go. I don't think so. She's coming with us until we're far away and safe. lied for you. I may have just killed a cop because of you. And you thank me by... by taking my little girl? Relax. It ain't personal. Of course it's personal. Look, this is our only chance. We have a kid in the back of the car. Ain't no way the cops will shoot. That is so not my problem. Ain't it? <sighs> Drop the gun. Atta boy. Jay, you don't have to do this. Lower it? Please. So no one gets hurt. Shit. <sighs> Thank you. Jay, shoot open that gate and get the truck started. She's six years old. Don't you think she's seen enough for one night? So have my boys. So have I. I'm sorry, Vince, but we need her. Please, please. I don't want to go. Wait. You need a hostage? Take me. Yeah, right. After what you just pulled? Ah, we gotta go. Wait, look! Look, I'm the lawyer, but in Arizona, there's a death penalty here, right? Because if you take Zoe, and anything happens, no jury's gonna let you off for that. But if, if it's me, if I come willingly, maybe I was even in on it. He's making sense. Fine, let's just go already. Go on, then. Daddy! Oh, God, Zoe. 
Come on. Go with us. I have to leave, Pumpkin. Your mommy for me, okay? Okay. And hey, if I don't make it back, you always stand up for the people you love. Okay? Let's go. Here. In case you need to see in the dark. I love you, Zoe. Oh, oh, all the way to the moon. Please say you're the reinforcements. Lawrence Bradley, FBI. Jesus, this was a massacre. The sheriff was found unconscious. Everyone else was caught in the blast. We've got four deputies dead. Maybe more after the burns they took. And no sign of the perps. Let's get a helicopter in the air. That's it. Nice and quiet till we're past the tracks. I tell you, if Bear could see us now... Don't talk about him. This is all his dumb fault anyway. It wasn't always like that, you know? It's strange where life can take you. <sighs> She's gonna be all right. I know. Jay, eyes on the road. <sighs> The place I want is the edge of darkness, where thoughts stop and memories die. Do you hear that? <sighs> Step on it! Ma, what do I do? We'll make it. Just keep driving. It isn't working. It never does. I get a few seconds of peace. Then instinct takes over. The truth is, there's still too much to forget. Not just the motel, but what happened afterward. I won't sleep much tonight. I never do. I'll try again tomorrow. Go tell that long-tongued liar. Go tell that midnight rider. 
Tell the gambler, the rambler, the backbiter. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Tell him that God's gonna cut him down. Our friends, we completed uh, chapter three small seconds, and this is the final chapter of a book one collision. You can see that we made some good choices, some rare choices which other players have not uh, made, which has given us a good path, and nobody died during this gameplay, also, which is also good, as we can see here. Some interesting choices we made here. Uh, yeah, we got this on 20, 30, and yeah. And we got captured instead of letting Zoe being captured. And um, when we played Jay, we made some difficult choices here as well, as you can see. But then again, giving us a different path. We saved the, uh, our father. And then uh, that was also a difficult choice to make, but that was also a good choice. All right. Then again. Thank you so much for watching this uh, video gameplay. Don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Enjoy, and be yourself, be amazing, and always be smiling.